other states in our country have been more blessed by nature than Missouri. For here is Americana at her very best, the golden prairie lands to the west, the wide and tranquil rivers, the green and rolling grasslands, rush of sparkling waters. The majesty of forests. And the rugged range of Ozarks. Though they're called the Ozark Mountains, they could more properly be called highlands, for time has worn them into a pattern of hills and valleys, of sunlight and shadows. Here, a way of life has been preserved, handicraft that's fast becoming a lost art. the songs and stories of its people. But there's no longer such a thing in its truest sense as a hillbilly. For Missouri's excellent system of roads closely integrates the once remote and isolated regions with the rest of the state. This network of roads has also helped to develop recreational areas for it has made every vista of Missouri accessible to her people and out-of-state visitors. Missouri's park system, extending throughout the entire state, encompasses all these regions, offers such a great variety of scenery and activities that the state parks help make Missouri one of the best-known playgrounds of the Middle West. Visitors to our parks have a wide choice of accommodations. They can enjoy all the comforts of home with the extra ingredients of a view and a breeze thrown in for good measure. Housekeeping cabins are modern, cheerful, and convenient. Will expand to accommodate any size family. provide a perfect hideaway for honeymooners. Some of the parks have hotels, 
Here again, comfortably appointed and modern. Here, new friendships are made or old ones re-established. Some take up right where they left off last summer. Dining lodges serve traditionally good Missouri food. And the Epicureans are most appreciative. Man. This is really living. But there are those who prefer to forego the marks of comfort, to step back in time and rough it. There's an ingrained appeal to camping out. Days run lazily together, and quiet surroundings offer a blessed retreat from the hectic age we live in. Some of the most attractive areas in our parks are deliberately left in a natural state for such usage by 20th century Daniel Boone. Beans again? Who cares? Everything tastes better when it's cooked over an open fire. And it's nice to go to sleep serenaded by the ageless music of the night. <laughs> 